What's up guys? Steve Ross here, starting strength coach and head coach here at Brussels Barbell. The squat is a hip dominant movement, but setting the knees early and with intent maximizes your rebound at the bottom and prevents knee slide. Today we'll go over how to do just that. Starting strength coaches are famous for wanting to get their clients to bend over and get more horizontal when they squat. And the reason for this is because we want to use the muscles of the posterior chain. Now for this to occur, we need the hips to go back as we start to squat. But at the same time, the knees must go out and set early to establish that back angle. What a lot of people do is reach their hips back, which is correct, but they keep their knees back at the same time. And what happens is they get to the bottom of the squat, the knees have to catch up. And by catching up, I mean they have to slide forward. And when that happens, the back angle becomes automatically more vertical, the hamstrings slack, and it kills the bounce out of the bottom. So let's see what this looks like when done incorrectly, and then of course, how to fix it. So. I'm going to start as usual, take my regular grip, neutral wrist, bar just below the spine and the scapula, big breath, unrack. So once I'm set, there's a misunderstanding here about reaching the hips back only and not letting the knees track out and forward. And what this looks like is the butt goes way back, the knees stay back, they stay back, we bend way over, and at the bottom of the squat, the knees must catch up. And they catch up by having to slide forward like this at the bottom. Now what this does, is twofold. One, my back automatically becomes more vertical. And the second thing it does is it kills hamstring tension because the hamstrings shorten. As the hips come closer to the bar when the knee slides, the hamstrings shorten distally and it kills the rebound. We're trying to avoid this. We want to use the hamstring. So now let's have a look at how to do this right and what it should look like. Okay, now let's see what this looks like when I set the knees early and with intent, hold them in place, and sit down with the hips to use that bounce out of the bottom. So, as always, neutral wrist, bar below the spine of the scapula, big breath, we're up. Now, what I'm looking for is simultaneous hip and knee flexion. So what it looks like is the knees go out and forward as the hips go back, knees are set early, and now halfway down, they're held in place. I sit into the hole with the hips and drive the hip out of the bottom. Big breath. Knees go out and hold with intent. As the hips go back, they're frozen now. Sit with the hips, sit with the hips, drive the hips up and put it away. It's a much, much stronger squat. Utilizes the most muscle mass we can and makes for much more efficient exercise. We hope this helps. Remember, set the knees out and forward and about one third to halfway down, freeze them in place to maximize hamstring tension and get that rebound out of the bottom. If you'd like to learn how the barbell can transform your body and literally change your life, there's no better place to be than right here with us at Brussels Barbell. Strength matters. Find yours with us.